good morning good morning welcome back to my channel uh haven't made a video in so long uh and so long this comes out to maybe a couple of days but uh before we start uh today's video uh want to want to tell you that today we're going to talk about how to leverage stocks in the stock market to make money short and sweet uh, i know you guys like this particular topic of how to leverage stocks different stocks that you've never heard of to make money that's why i'm here as the wingman to be your wingman to help you and guide you in this tough uh thing called investing and so uh, if you want to interest if you're interested to know how to leverage stocks to make money grow up a dividend portfolio or an investing portfolio or ultimately uh, use stock to be able to uh, pay your bills, then you came to the right place. And so before we start, I just want to say, uh, stop what you're doing. If you haven't liked, like, the, like the, uh, the video, share my video. And most importantly, if you if you're not subscribed, subscribe, because I am uh, uh, pushing out some delicious, wonderful content that you're not getting this, you're not getting this, uh, anywhere. And guess what? It's for free. This content is for free. You don't, you never know what your best friend or your mom uh, may not know and they may want to uh, love to hear this you know chocolate individual you know and what what i what i got, uh, got to say but anyways uh so for the, for the uh, first stock we're going to talk about it's going to be magellan midstream partners and for magellan midstream partners it's in the oil and gas and energy sector as you see right here the ticker symbol is mmp so if you was on charles Schwab or fidelity you just type in mmp and you will see that uh, each share costs fifty-two dollars and ninety-two cents. Has a market cap of ten point eight billion dollars. Has a beta of 0.51, and it has a dividend yield of seven point nine two percent. So for each share that you buy, for the uh, you will get an annual payout of four dollars nineteen cents, which comes out to being a dollar and four a uh, dollar and four cent uh, per quarter for each share that, that that you have. So I know you're thinking, okay, Kadero. I, I, I see the stock, uh, stock Magellan Midstream Partners. How can I leverage me buying this uh, to eventually grow a portfolio that is going to be paying me to either, you know, pay my bills, pay my light bill, pay food, or it, for me to grow it as big as, you know, it can pay my rent or my mortgage, right? So I got you. So I have this dividend uh, producing calculator. It shows that if you used to start out with one share of Magellan, that costs fifty two dollars and ninety two cent. That you and if you contribute six six thousand per year. Now remember, that six thousand per year is five hundred dollars per month. At five hundred dollars per month, split it down into bi weekly, meaning that if you budget and you contribute two hundred fifty dollars every two weeks to Magellan, that's not you adding uh, you know, a bonus check, uh, side business money. This is just two hundred fifty dollars. Every, uh, every other check to come out to be in $500 a month would, would make you uh, be able to contribute $6 per year with a dividend yield of Magellan 7.92. You'll see that if the goal is, is to make $350 per month in dividend income, which is roughly $3,600 per year, it will roughly take, take you seven years for you for you to be able to create a portfolio that your portfolio will be virtually paying you $350 per month. Now, if you continue to, if you decide to not stop and, can, and continue to invest into uh, MMP, if, just for that one stock in your portfolio, let's say uh, if you could want to continue another three years, so that you, your portfolio will be paying you roughly $4,700 uh, to uh, roughly five. Five thousand dollars on a, on on a yearly basis. That's that's crazy, right? If you continue it for an, an, another five years, so if, as a total investment for a total fifteen years, your your uh, portfolio or your stock of MMP, just this one stock, will be uh, producing ten thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars for the whole year. If you continue just two more years, you will hit for a uh, dividend income of. Twelve thousand dollars, which is roughly a thousand dollars per month. Yeah, and so honestly, with, with that, you can leverage that with uh, eventually, uh, and that's good. You know, if you start now, it's good. And where the person, uh, if they were at the age of close to like fifty, and they and they did this, 
they would have a a, uh, a stock that would be paying them roughly twelve thousand dollars per year. They 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 would be able to file for Social Security, have that Social Security uh, paying them, and then uh, who, who knows if, if that person also had maybe a, a little bit in their four hundred one k that they they invest also into their uh, at their job. Now imagine you being thirty years old, thirty years old, and you and you started now and you and you started investing. By the age of forty-five, you have a portfolio of, 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 a, of a stock that's paying you roughly twelve thousand dollars a year, or roughly a thousand dollars per month passively, meaning that you don't have to do anything at all. So the next stock we're going to talk about is TC Energy. So what I like to do in this in these series is to uh, uh, diversify your portfolio, give you stocks that you you probably haven't heard of, for you to do, do your own research to. See if, if this is uh, feasible for you to um, either add it to uh, to your actual investor portfolio as a whole, or just stocks where you, you can just take to invest into to basically pay your bills. So TC Energy, which the, which is a ticker symbol TRP, has a dividend yield of six point eight nine percent, has a dividend growth of three point three percent, which is slow, but it's not one percent. And then they also the, for each share it costs forty dollars. And forty-six cent, which which is a little bit cheaper than Mag uh, Magellan Midstream Partners, uh, right here uh, ha has a payout ratio of fifty-one percent, which is great, which is which is, is lower than uh, a uh, payout ratio of sixty percent, which I love. It's been it's been growing its dividend for the past twenty-two years, so that that shows stability. And then right here, I, I like to see this positive upswing, so it, it shows you that it also has has had a history of increasing their dividend. So it's a win-win. So if you had bought one share of TC Energy and you chose to stock at, hey, listen, you know, I'm, I'm just going to buy TC Energy uh, every two weeks. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, to I'm gonna, uh, pay by $250 worth of TC Energy. Every two weeks will be $500 per month, which means that you'll be contributing $6,000 on a yearly basis, and that's if that's if you did that. Imagine you, you get back uh, money from your taxes. Imagine you receive your, your yearly bonus, or you're doing Uber, you're doing Grubhub, and you're receiving extra money. Then guess what? You could be able to hit that goal of two hundred fifty dollars per uh, per week into uh, TC Energy, where it, it wouldn't be such a stretch if, if saving up two hundred fifty dollars per week and investing it. If that's a lot, you know, giving you guys examples and or what, what you do. So uh, the, again, the goal is to make $350 per month passively through dividend income, dividend growth investing, or dividend investing through, in this example, TC Energy. So if you start out with one share and you decide to do it, the goal is to, is to make roughly uh, $3,600 on the on, on a uh, annualized basis. So with this, it would take you about roughly seven, seven and a half years to hit your goal. If you if you continue continue to invest another three more years, that thirty six hundred dollars will turn into roughly, like you see, almost close to six thousand dollars that you have passively on an annualized basis for it paying you. And then and then if you continue continue to stick with it for another five years, your uh, portfolio will pay you twelve thousand um, dollars, which we uh, roughly a thousand dollars per month. And dividend income passively that basically all you all you're really doing is just buying shares of this company not doing anything else and you can live off this passively on top of if you have social security now if you just decided to start early as in 25 years old or 30 then you have way more time to let it compound and let it grow and then uh let's say you did it you started at 30 and you chose to uh, do this for uh, about 20 years, then guess what? Your your uh, dividend income from investing into TC Energy for 20 years would, would get you 24000 per year paid to you passively. And guess what? You didn't have to do anything. All you had to do was take the money that you made through doing hair, uh, delivering pizzas, uh, Grubhub, Uber Eats, uh, your side business, and basically you got a, another side hustle in this, and your investment paying you twenty four thousand per year, passively. So think think of that. Lastly, for the last stock that we're going to talk about in our how, how to leverage stocks to, to make money series, 
for uh, how to make $350 uh, per month, which is $3,600 uh, $3, uh, per year in dividend income, uh, is ARCC, which is called Aries Capital. Now, uh, what, I've, what I've seen is that in, with this stock in the, in the investing community, I've actually seen a lot of the experienced investors uh, have this in their portfolio. So uh, now they don't they don't just only have just this stock in the portfolio. They just they have this as a high yielder stock to increase their portfolio uh, dividend yield. But man, it's, it's this this stock has has been pretty uh pretty stable. And for for it to be a high yield and it increased their dividend by twelve percent last year, it's kind of really unheard of for a high yield stock for them to do that. But I'm not knocking it, right? Uh, the, the share price for ARCC is nineteen dollars and fifty one cents. Uh, and right here, as, as you see, uh, it really it, do, it doesn't have that, that that great you know curve of growth. But a lot, a lot of this is, is uh, get a lot of your bang for your buck by this dividend yield. Again. The, the first stock MP was MMP was uh, had a dividend year around seven seven point two percent if I can remember TC Energy had had about six six point eight this right here used to add three three more percent so you you, you get a lot more of your dividend yield up in the, in the front end and so uh, with this a lot of people just utilize buying this just so that they can get that high dividend yield in their particular uh, dividend portfolio. And lastly, I'm just going to show you just if you if you either only contributed just to just for the stock, or if you hit this with your portfolio, how can you can leverage this to make money to either pay your bills via phone bill, uh, groceries, or even just you know uh, you know just have side side pocket money, right? So again, uh, with Aries Capital. It honestly will, will, will honestly will take take you a shorter shorter time for you to uh, hit the goals of you know invest into a high yield of Aries Capital. So um, overall, uh, just wanted to show you guys uh, how in, investing into uh, these stocks to one familiarize yourself. Oh, also Aries Capital is in. The finance sector. I know the last, the, the, uh, last two uh, were in the energy sector. It's typically in the energy sector and in the finance sector. That's where you, you can find a lot of the high yielders. Um, and also sometimes in the real estate, the REITs. Uh, and a lot of these are also are uh, either MMPs or um, uh, BDCs. And so uh, also just uh, just this is a forewarning. When you when you do invest in these these companies, though, just know that these uh, the income that you do receive from these premium uh, income or distributions will be uh, taxed at your regular income. Meaning that uh, whatever tax bracket you are in, you will be taxed at that. These these stocks, since they are high yielders, um, they tend to don't uh, have favorable tax treatment compared to a long-term capital gain stock. So compared to like a McDonald's, a Lowe's, Home Depot, uh, ExxonMobil, Chevron, when you receive dividends from those companies, when you hold it for a full year, you receive a tax benefit from short-term capital gains to long-term capital gain. But before with these stocks, they're taxed at, at a, just a different way. So BDCs and, and uh, MLPs and, and all, all those, uh, you basically you don't get that tax benefit. So just keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. So if you are in a, in a high, in a high high tax bracket, if you are purchasing a stock to use this to leverage to, to pay your bills, it will uh, uh, push your push you into a higher tax bracket because these are this is income that that you're making. You just probably not using it, but it's, it's income that you're making compared to if you are. In the lower tax bracket, let's say you're making forty thousand, fifty dollars, forty thousand, fifty thousand dollars per year, uh, you make an extra income from these different stocks and, re and reinvest them. So, and, and, and with it push, pushing you in a different tax bracket, it's not going to be as severe as if you are um, ninety, hundred thousand, and you invest in this and it pushes you up to you know maybe a twenty six percent to or thirty. 
thirty percent tax bracket. That's 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 a big jump. That's a lot. You know, uh, when you are making that much money, you you want to limit the tax that you pay IRS, not not increase the tax the tax you pay to pay to IRS. Uh, Pay to IRS, but lastly, don't mean to rumble. Just wanted to just give you guys the FYI that just uh, the income from these particular stocks and their high yielders and MLPs and and uh, and since these are um, BDCs, they are tax different. They're not taxed at long term capital gains rate. So stocks like that, QYLD, uh, Jeppy, got to be careful. Uh, those are not typically taxed favorably. But if you put these into a also, but also if you put these into a retirement account, then guess what? Like a Roth IRA or IRA, then you don't have to worry about uh, the taxes as much. But if you put this in a taxable uh, taxable account compared compared to a IRA or a Roth IRA, then you will have to pay taxes on a year by year by year basis. So honestly, at the end of the day, it's like basically you got to pick your poison. But if you want to leverage it to to be able to make money and use it to pay your bills, then who cares about taxes? Because at the end of the day, taxes is a, it's a part of life, right? So, so it's always the mindset and how you think about it. But I hope you guys enjoy these examples of these, these three different stocks. So I uh, uh, hope you guys enjoy the example of how to leverage stocks into uh, being able to make money. And so you'll be able to see uh, it actually works because it actually does work. I have multiple dividend portfolios and I have multiple high yield socks and uh hope you guys have a great day